Hello there, everybody! My name's Supernova1412, and welcome back to some more Luigi's Mansion. Last time! Well, we got the final portrait ghost, Vincent Van Gogh, and we got our last boo. We're at 50 out of 50 now. This time! Well, I guess we're actually gonna go and defeat King Boo and go save Mario. But before that, I'm actually gonna be running around the mansion collecting any leftover goodies, because sometimes they respawn, and uh, see if we could increase our score a bit more. So, I'm going to be running around this mansion anytime I get any more like, increase in cash or coins or gold bars. Hmm. So, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, I missed some cash in here. Oh, here we go. I have a feeling I missed something. Oh, some cash. Oh, a gold bar. There we go. There we go. Some more cash and coins. By the way, look at this. We can do something like this, ready? Get out of here. Oh, some coins. Oh, a gold bar. Awesome. Oh, and some cash. I'm telling you, it's good to come back and just double check everything, because you definitely might have missed something. Oh, here we go. Some cash. Some points here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this in the other episode, but you can see there's a sculpture of Biff Atlas. And over here, uh, I believe her name, uh, the mother's name was Linda. I may be wrong, though. Oh, a gold bar. Oh, some coins. Oh, a gold bar. Oh, some cash. Another gold bar. Alright, and now that I got a lot more coins, cash, and even gold bars, as you can see, mm -hmm. we're going to be moving on to the final boss. Mm. So, let's get a move on. Really, game? Guys, the explosion guys. Whoa. Let's go through. So actually in this hallway here, if you have 39 boos or less, you would actually be like blown out. I'm gonna like show you a cutscene here really quickly, what happens. Also, you only need 40 boos to access this place in the North American version, compared to 45 in the European version. Anyway, without any more hesitation, let's go forward. Alright, 
Alright, then let's unlock a door for the very last time. There we go. We are here. However, before we do anything else, I want you guys to vacuum the chandelier right here. Because... A sapphire can drop. Very nice. Now, before we do anything else, let's inspect this with the Game Boy Horror. What in the world is this? All right. Can we do anything with these? No. Let me double check this one. Oh. All right, cutscene act. I guess nothing. Ah, I could just stare at my Mario painting for hours. It's true what they say about fine art. It takes utterly refined sensibilities to truly appreciate it. The way you plead for help, Mario, I find it so satisfying. Perhaps that is merely because I remember how much trouble you've caused me in the past. Seriously though, who would actually believe that mansions get given away in contests? Talk about stupid. What do they feed you Mario Brothers anyway? Gullible soup? Your brother came all this way just to get turned into a painting. It's just terrific. However, this Mario painting looks lonely. I must have a Luigi painting as well. Then, my gallery will truly be complete. Bleh! I'm not afraid of you, fool. I fear only that Infernal Poltergust 3000 you carry on your back, stupid machine. But I am king among booze. I swear it. I shall fear no mere house cleaning device. I must say, I despise the way you vacuumed up all my friends. Don't imagine that I'll flee. I'll fight you like a true boo. Now join your brother inside the painting. Get sucked in. Now, we're gonna move on with the boss. Okay. Grab this, and you hit him. Try not to get exploded. And there are King Boo! He's inside Bowser. Seems like a suit or something, huh? Anyway, he has 500 HP. If you try to avoid getting hit by Bowser's ice, floating head, and uh, yeah, that's that. Oh, God. 
Alright, we're gonna continue. Jump and then random with you appear. Unfortunately, you can't swing his tail. Three only way you can attack these spike bombs. And there we go. Now. Boss fight can be a bit tricky, so you just want to be very careful. Oh, and here's his next attack. Uh, his head's on backwards, and he goes rampant. And put him back. Luigi. Luigi, you did it! Truly remarkable, my friend. I supplied the Poltergeist Ghost 3000, but you ran with it all the way to the top, Sonny. You made me so proud! Get a hold of yourself again. What's that? You found King Boo? He jumped into a painting of Bowser, you say? He even blew fire at you. Well, well, in all my years of ghost research, I've never heard such a fantastic tale. And that career spans 60 years, mind you. Why, I still recall starting out as a young whelp who trembled at the mere thought of a ghost. Trembled, I say. Oh, beg your pardon. This old brain goes recollecting every now and then. I could sit down and fill a week spinning ghost yarns. Why? Just last? Right. Well, anywho, Luigi, grab your brother's painting and bring him to the lab. <laughs> the poor little feller falling asleep. He must have just collapsed with relief and exhaustion when he saw you arrive. I'll get the machine ready to return your brother to his former state. Alrighty? I'll be expecting you both. Oh, 
This will mess with your head. All your hard work lasted only a single night. Well done, Luigi. The mansion those boots built disappeared into the night. But that treasure seems to be real. I have no interest in such stuff. So go on and keep it all. Use it however you like. Say what? Enough rattling about money. I guess we better get your brother back then. Of course, your brother's really important. But first, we have to take care of those last ghosts. Alright, let's do this for the last time. dollars to donuts that nobody but me has such lovely paintings. <laughs> And as usual, we'll be going through every single portrait to show how they look in a bronze, silver, and gold version of them. So, I'm going to do that right now. Thank you. 
Alright, now let's move on. You've caught a total of 23 ghosts. Alright, now let's go through how much money you have. Wow. This entire total, 124,470,000 G. That's a lot of money. Alright, let's save. Alright, and that was Luigi's Mansion. It's definitely one of my favorite GameCube games. It's really fun. And, uh, yeah, it's, in my opinion, very underrated. Originally when it came out, not many people liked it because, well, it was a Luigi game, not a Mario game. Luigi really wasn't as popular back then as he is now. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, thoughts of the project? I really enjoyed this game, I actually like to play it once in a while, and I thought, hey, why not just let's play this game, and I decided to do it. This game is very creative for its time, and it still is very creative, and in my opinion, it still holds up to date on how well this game looks, and uh, even the controls feel very good. Overall, I have nothing really negative to say, well actually, there is something negative. I guess the, the booze, that's, that can kind of make you a bit frustrated because they just go everywhere and if you lose one, you have to go all across to look through the rooms to find it. But, um, besides that... <laughs> you can hear Mario Luigi speaking in the background, that's funny. Uh, is there anything else I need to say? Not really, honestly. Overall, it's a great game. It's underrated, just like Super Mario Sunshine's underrated. And, um, yeah. I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can listen to the music and uh, see the credits. Overall, great game once again. Highly recommend it if you never played it. And, uh, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. And so, the matter of the ghost was settled. Professor Egad was so delighted to have all of his paintings returned that he used the treasures Luigi had found to build Luigi a new house. Congratulations, your mansion is complete. We got the best rank in the game. Really quickly, I will be going over the other ranks you can get in this game, and the 3DS version actually has uh, slightly different ranks, so I'll be going over those two really quickly.
However, we are not done because, as you can see here, it says up to area one. What this is, I'll show you really quickly if I go on the profile. It will say the hidden mansion. You might be wondering, what is this? So if we go here really quickly, this is basically a harder version of the original Luigi's Mansion. There's a lot more loot, basically like uh, money and uh, treasures you can find. The ghosts are a bit more difficult. And if you go here, oh, wait a minute. It's not, there we go. This will happen more often. What happened the very first time, it, this will happen more often. Uh, as you can see here, on the very right of the screen, I also have a star to indicate that I have completed the original version. And, um, yeah, basically, ghosts are more difficult. You could also get more treasure, more cash, gold bars, coins. I believe the gems still stay the same. Still 10. But, uh, yeah, just basically a harder mode. And, uh, that's that. So I'm gonna quit really quickly. And the last thing I want to go over... Is the gallery. So why don't we go there really quickly. And over here, we can go through every single hmm. painting. Here we go. Here's our mansion. 124,470G. Very nice. Looks so nice in a gold frame. Here is the Area 1 boss. I believe that was Neville. I believe this is Linda. Hmm. And now we can just go through everything. I don't know why these are numbered so weirdly, where like, over here it's like, as you can see here, this is number 8. I don't think that's the number 8 ghost we got. And I don't think Madame Clairvoy is the number 7. It's, it's really strange why it's like this, but whatever. And last but not least, we got that one. So let's double check if there's anything here. I don't think anything can spawn here at all, but it's always good to double check. Yeah, nothing. Alright, let's look at the last painting. Man, that looks really good, doesn't it? I really like the artwork. Alright, well, that's everything I wanted to show off about Luigi's Mansion. So, let's go back to the title screen. There's actually one last thing I do want to go over, and it's the options menu. Here you can change your sound from mono to stereo to surround. Your rumble, you could have it on or off. Obviously, there's the controls, and then the brightness, which you can change. However, there's also something over here. What is this? Well, if you go see, it says view a Pikmin movie. Now, if you press A,
You know, it's weird that Nintendo put a trailer inside of an actual video game, because this is actually on the disc. So, I don't know. I just find it funny that they decided to put it in. They're like, hey, we have a few more uh, megabytes left. What do you think we should put on here? Ah, let's put the entire Pikmin trailer on here, why not, you know? <laughs> Now you might be wondering, why am I showing you this? Well... You'll see... in the near future. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, I don't know why Nintendo decided to put the entire Pikmin trailer here, but maybe they were trying to be like, you know what? Maybe more people will buy Luigi's Mansion, and then maybe they could try out our new IP, you know? Anyway, it's pretty interesting. Anyway, that's that. Alright, and I would like to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion. Once again, I feel like it's a very underrated game. I would highly recommend it if you have never played it on the GameCube or the 3DS version. And that's that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play, and I'll see you all next Let's Play. See you later!